Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD video tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Did you miss me? <laughs> we took a short little summer hiatus and now we're back in full force. Of course I missed you. So welcome back and we're gonna be sharing some more great AutoCAD video tips, all right? So the tip today has to do with a command that's been in AutoCAD for a long time. That is the array command. But inside of AutoCAD 2012, they added a new path array. For example, I want to take this block of a tree and I want to array it along this entire path. It's a spline. Before AutoCAD 2012, I could do it. It would be kind of tricky. I'd have to use the divide or measure command, but I could do it. It wasn't easy. All right, it's painful. So with AutoCAD 2012, they added in this great new path array. So let's just take a quick look at it. There's a lot more to the array command. We'll talk about path arrays today. So I'm going to come up here and you will see that we have rectangular and polar and the awesome path array. Now, of course, I'm a big ribbon fan. This, car, this command would be very tricky without the ribbon, as you will see, so heads up for you. So the first thing it asks me is to select the objects I want to rate, because this is this block, right? Hit an enter, and now it wants me to select the path curve. It could be a line, it could be a spline, it could be a polyline, etc. I'm gonna select the spline, and you will see that by default, it is going to fill the entire spine. I'm gonna zoom out for you. You can see the spline goes all the way around this arena and fills the entire object that you selected, right? Okay, that's interesting. Now I'm gonna zoom back in. Let's get a better shot, make it easier on you. And I wanna also point out the fact that we have this very cool grip. This little grip here, what happens when I pick that on that arrow? You will see that I can visually show the spacing between the blocks that I selected are the trees. Oh, that's very cool. Very dynamic, very visual, very friendly. And that's why I love the way they did the path array. All right, so take a look at the ribbon. Like I said, it changes for you automatically because it's context sensitive. And you will see I can also manually come up here and say, you know, I really want these guys to be five units apart. Now, at this point, it's still going along the entire spline. So what if you don't want it to go along the entire spline? Easy. You're gonna come up here and select this button right here. You're gonna turn that off and now you can change it to an actual item count. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna say, you know what, I only want 20, for example. 20, five units apart. Let's zoom back out and see what happens. You'll see it did not go along the entire path, right? All right, so you can also do that. So what else can you do? You can tell it you want to have multiple rows. Maybe I want three rows. Oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. Couldn't really do that before. And well, there was no path curve, path array before, so of course you couldn't do it before. And uh, let's actually put that back to one. I'm gonna show you one more part of this tip, which I think is really valuable. So it kind of feels like this array is one great big huge block, right, of objects. Well, what if you wanna individually edit the different parts of the array. Maybe I wanna take one of the, or two of these blocks and delete them or move them. It kind of feels like they're all stuck together, right? Well, they're not. You will see that if I hold down my control key, I can individually select different objects in the array. And maybe I wanna, I'll just hit the delete key, but you could go and you can move them, you could copy them, whatever it is you want to do. But you can edit them individually. The secret is the control key. All right, so one more thing I'll show you. I've kind of messed up my array, right? If you select the array, once again, the ribbon changes automatically. You will see a new option at the end of the ribbon that says reset the array. If you click on that, it'll put it back to the way that it was before. So no harm done. All right, try the path array. It's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video tip and I am going to see you back here in two more weeks. Okay, promise? All right.